Well, you know, for many, the nativity scene is a common sight this time of year, depicting the reason for the season. Our Tori Woodall takes us to Bucks County for a look at where some of those scenes are born. This is like having a fine painting. This is something that cherished for generations. We wonder 100 years from now, somebody's going to look at that and go, who did this? And why? It's the story of Christmas, the nativity. And while each year you take it out of the box and inhale its scent of tradition, studying baby Jesus in his manger or Joseph's beard trailing off of his chin, have you ever wondered who made this or why? Well, in his backyard garden in Buckingham, Michael Stumpf brings this 2000 year old story to life in a 200 square foot space he calls his sanctuary. His company is called Navidad Nativities. When I was small, we had the Woolworths Nativity and was fascinated by it. And as with most children, I would get down low so I could see in so you're not looking down on it. And that's the escape. There's the magic you see in there. It's that kind of magic that he and his partner create and commission for billion dollar businesses, churches and clients all over the country and beyond who desire to add fine details and personal touches to the scene that's meant to touch us all at this time of year. We'll do sketches. What style do you like? You like a lot of stonework, Roman influence, and then quite often we'll incorporate parts of family heritage, maybe it's some of mom's costume jewelry that the kings are bringing or some fabric that you had in a dress when you were younger. You might be a golfer or a fisherman, you'll find a fishing rod in the back corner. So it becomes really truly personalized that it becomes something that gets passed down. The first nativity in history was 1228. It was created by St. Francis of Assisi. And he did it to bring the nativity story to life for the local residents. And the reason that we do this is it becomes a focus for a family or a church or an organization that has it. It's about that storytelling, about what this birth did, the birth of this baby and how it's affected all of us for over 2,000 years and continues to do so today. Victoria Woodall, CBS3 Eyewitness News. The nativity started $1,500, but the last one they sold went for 11000